when emotions are reduced to emojis and a handful of tweeted letters scattered across the internet can inspire the world or plunge it into despair, words have weight and print is still powerful. If you recall that the first word in the Quran is read, I think that that's really going to be uh, leading the people to use this library to, to operate and to understand the resources in a region, in a country that has a long tradition of loving the written words. This is Qatar's new national library. These shelves can hold around 1.2 million books. Racks of history, fiction and reference sit alongside computers, music studios, 3D printers, stages for musical and theatre performances, and on a lower floor out of direct sunlight, ancient texts for researchers to study. This is the Heritage Library. It's got over 26,000 printed books, over 4,000 manuscripts. It's got over 30,000 photographs and over 1,200 maps. But the staff here at the library know that if they want it to be a success, they have to appeal to a different type of reader as well, children. To do that, they're banishing what used to be a basic requirement in libraries, silence. We think of our library as um, a noisy place. So it's a noisy children's library, and we encourage children to express themselves however they feel. We believe in learning through play, and this is why you can find a lot of toys here in the library that support their cognitive development, in addition to their love of reading. Since the 1970s, Qatar's economy has been driven by its vast oil and gas reserves, but eventually those will start to shrink. The new Qatar National Library is part of a plan to move the economy to one based largely on knowledge and education. Well this is a tremendous investment and it's an investment not just in this building but it's an investment in education and research for the country. I think it's got a huge role to play in creating the next generation of, of readers, students uh, and we hope leaders too. For the staff of the new National Library, the printed word, either real or in cyberspace, is key to Qatar's future. Rob Matheson, Al Jazeera.